Hello guys, uh, we have another video right now, uh, it's a 2001 Mitsubishi Montero, uh, she got a, he got a noise, my friend of mine he got a noise in that engine, everybody believe it's a crankshaft noise, because the noise comes from the bottom, but believe it or not, everybody's wrong, uh, it's not always the same experience we had. Uh, when you have one noise in the bottom for the engine, the crankshaft. In this case, I want to start the vehicle to show you uh, what is the noise. And after, I want to explain to everybody exactly what's going on with that engine. This is 3.5 uh, Mitsubishi Montero, 2001. You can see this is the noise. It's a very loud noise, you can hear right now. I want to turn it off the engine as the guy wants to explain exactly where the noise is coming from. Alright? It's not the engine, it's not the crankshaft, it's another thing. Alright, we'll be back right now, we'll turn it off the engine. Uh, the reason that noise is coming from is because that particular part right here, that's the pressure and tension error for the bell. As you can see, the bell is loose. It's not tired really. That's me. That bell is not good. I want to try to show you exactly what happened when you start the engine. Uh, the tension is right here. But when they lose the pressure, I want to try to, sh to move the crankshaft bell to reproduce the noise exactly. It's a little hard to move, but let me use the range. Okay, right here. Let me see right now. Lose the compression right here. Okay, lose the compression now. Okay, now I want to produce the noise. Check it out. That's exactly you hear. When that piece hit the another bottom piece in the metal on the bottom. Like this. Now we produce the same noise. In other words, it's better simple war. All you have to do is always uh, always you how to all uh, I don't put the recording for the video for the detail about how to get in that part. Of course, you have to remove all this space right here, all the pieces, radiator, fan, all the pieces right now. It's right here. That's the old part I removed. Uh, after that, you have to take it off the puller and go to the tensioner right here to disconnect the tensioner and put another one brand new and the problems will solve. I want to put the tensionator as to that I want to start the engine and you want to hear the difference. Alright? Okay.